Chapter 1 Number Systems and Codes To start Chapter 1 off, we will discuss the differences between digital and analog systems. Digital systems operate on discrete digits that represent numbers, letters, or symbols. They deal strictly with on and off states, which can represent by zeros and ones. Analog systems measure and respond to continuously varying electrical or physical magnitudes. Analog devices are integrated electronically into systems to continuously monitor and control such quantities as temperature, pressure, velocity, and position, and to provide automated control based on the levels of these quantities. So why do we need to use digital representations in a world that is naturally analog? The answer is that if we want an electronic machine to interpret, communicate, process, and store analog information, it is much easier for the machine to handle it if we first convert the information to a digital format. A digital value is represented by a combination of on and off voltage levels that are written as a string of ones and zeros. For example, an analog thermometer that registers 72 degrees can be represented in a digital circuit as a series of on and off voltage levels. The convenient feature of using on and off voltage levels is that the circuitry used to generate, manipulate, and store them is very simple. Instead of dealing with the infinite span and intervals of analog voltage levels, all we need to use is on or off voltages, usually plus 5 volts for on and zero volts for off. A good example for the use of a digital representation of an analog quantity is the audio recording of music. Compact discs, CDs, and digital audio tapes DATs, are becoming commonplace and are proving to be superior means of recording and playing back music. Musical instruments and the human voice produce analog signals and the human ear naturally responds to the analog signals. So where does the digital format fit in? Although the process requires what appears to be extra work, the recording industries convert analog signals to a digital format and then store the information on a CD or DAT. The CD or DAT player then converts the digital levels back to their cor corresponding analog signals before playing them back for the human ear. In figure 1.2a, the first conversion illustrated is at point on the rising portion of the analog signal. At that point, the analog voltage is 2 volts. 2 volts are converted into the digital string 00000010, as shown in figure 1-2b. The next conversion is taken as the analog signal in figure 1-2a is still rising and the third is taken at its highest level. This process will continue throughout the entire piece of music to be recorded. To play back the music, the process is reversed. Digital to analog conversions are made to recreate the original analog signal. This is seen in figure 1-3. If a high enough number of samples are taken of the original analog signal, an almost exact reproduction of the original music can be made. In the decimal numbering system, each position contains 10 different possible digits. These digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Each position in a multi digit number will have a weighting factor based on the power of 10. The second numbering system used in digital electronics is the binary numbering system. This is because it uses only the digits 0 and 1, which can be represented simply in a digital system by two distinct voltage levels, such as plus 5 volts for one 
and 0 volts for 0. The weighting factors for the binary positions are powers of 2. The conversion from binary to decimal is usually performed by the digital computer for ease of interpretation by the person reading the number. On the other hand, when a person enters a decimal number into a digital computer, that number must be converted to binary before it can be operated on. With the bi decimal to binary conversion, we have the least significant bit, the LSB, and the most significant bit, the MSB. The MSB is the leftmost bit, and the least significant bit is the rightmost bit. Again, we have weighting factors, and we can use the conversion technique of successive division for this conversion. The next numbering system is the octal numbering system. The octal numbering system is a method of grouping binary numbers in groups of three. The eight allowable digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The octal numbering system is used by manufacturers of computers that utilize three-bit codes to indicate instructions or operations to be performed. By using the octal representation instead of binary, the user can simplify the task of entering or reading computer instructions and thus saving time. There are four ways of converting for octal. Binary to octal, octal to binary, octal to decimal, and decimal to octal. Like the octal numbering system, the hexadecimal numbering system is a method of grouping bits to simplify entering and reading the instructions or data present in digital computer systems. Hexadecimal uses 4-bit groupings. Therefore, instructions or data used in 8, 16, or 32-bit computer systems can be represented as a 2, 4, or 8-digit hexadecimal code using a long string of binary digits. Hex to decimal, or hex for short, uses 16 different digits and is a method of grouping binary numbers in groups of four. Because hex digits must rep be represented by a single character, letters are chosen to represent values greater than nine. The 16 allowable hex digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. To signify a hex number, a subscript 16 or the letter H is used. That is A7 subscript 16 or A7H as an example. Two hex digits are used to represent 8 bits, also known as a byte. Four bits one hex digit are sometimes called a nibble. This is rare, but it is used. There are two forms of hexadecimal conversions that are presented in this chapter. A binary to hexadecimal conversion, which is a gr grouping the binary numbers in four to write the equivalent hex digit, and a hexadecimal to binary, which is just the reverse process. For converting hexadecimal to decimal, we multiply by the weighting factors and decimal to hexadecimal, which uses a successive division. The last numbering system in this chapter is the binary coded decimal system, BCD for short. It is used to represent each of the 10 decimal digits as a 4-bit binary code. This code is useful for outputting two displays that are always numeric 0 to 9, such as those found in digital clocks or digital voltmeters. To convert BCD, we convert each decimal digit to its 4-bit binary code. For BCD to decimal, we just do a simple reverse the process method To get information into and out of a computer, we need more than just numeric representations. 
We also have to take all of the letters and symbols used in day-to-day -day processing. Information such as names, addresses, and item descriptions must be input and output in a readable format. But remember that a digital system can deal only with ones and zeros. Therefore, we need a special code to represent all alphanumeric data, letters, symbols, and numbers. Most industries settled on an input-output I.O. code called the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, ASCII. The ASCII code uses seven bits to represent all of the alphanumeric data used in computer I.O. Seven bits will yield 128 different code combinations as listed in Table 1-5. Each time a key is depressed on an ASCII keyboard, that key is converted into its ASCII code and processed by the computer. Then before outputting the computer contents to a display terminal or printer, all the information is converted from ASCII into standard English. To use the table, place the 4-bit group in the least significant positions and the 3-bit group in the most significant positions. In summary for chapter 1, it can be said that numerical quantities occur in analog form, but must be converted to digital form to be used by computers or digital circuitry. The binary numbering system is used in digital systems because the ones and zeros are easily represented by on or off transistors, which output 0 volts for 0 and 5 volts for 1. Any number system can be converted to digital by multiplying each digit by its weighting factor. The weighting factor for the least significant digit in an, any number system is always 1, and binary numbers can be converted to octal by forming groups of 3 bits and 2 hexadecimal by forming groups of 4 bits. The successive division procedure can be used to convert from decimal to binary, octal, or hexadecimal. The binary coded decimal system uses groups of 4 bits to drive decimal displays such as those in a calculator. And lastly, the ASCII is used by computers to represent all letters, numbers, and symbols in digital form.